Have you ever wondered how a once mighty empire crumbled, shaping the course of history? In today's video, we unravel the complex factors that led to the collapse of the Ottoman Empire, once a dominant force that spanned centuries of political instability one of the primary internal factors that contributed to the collapse of the Ottoman Empire was political instability. As the empire expanded and grew in size, it became increasingly difficult to maintain control over its diverse territories. This led to power struggles, succession disputes, and weak leadership, which weakened the central authority and hindered effective governance. Economic decline The Ottoman Empire faced significant economic challenges in its later years. The empire relied heavily on trade routes that were disrupted by the discovery of new sea routes, bypassing Ottoman-controlled territories. This loss of trade revenue, coupled with corruption and mismanagement, resulted in economic decline and financial instability, social and cultural stagnation. The Ottoman Empire experienced a period of social and cultural stagnation, which hindered its ability to adapt to changing times. The conservative nature of the empire limited social mobility and innovation, preventing it from keeping pace with the advancements and ideas emerging in Europe. This cultural stagnation further weakened the empire's ability to compete on a global scale. European imperialism The rise of European imperialism posed a significant threat to the Ottoman Empire. European powers sought to expand their influence and control over territories, leading to conflicts and wars with the Ottoman Empire. The empire struggled to defend its territories against the superior military technology and tactics employed by European powers, resulting in territorial losses and a decline in power, nationalism and independence movements. The Ottoman Empire was a diverse empire with various ethnic and religious groups under its rule. The rise of nationalism and independence movements within these groups posed a significant challenge to the empire's unity. As nationalist sentiments grew stronger, demands for self-determination and independence increased, leading to rebellions and uprisings that further weakened the empire. World War I World War I proved to be the final blow to the already weakened Ottoman Empire. The empire chose to align itself with the central powers, leading to its involvement in the war. However, the empire suffered significant military defeats, lost territories, and faced economic collapse during the war. The Treaty of Sevres in 1920 further dismantled the empire, leading to the establishment of modern-day Turkey. The collapse of the Ottoman Empire occurred in the aftermath of World War I. The empire officially ended with the signing of the Treaty of Sevres in 1920. Both internal and external factors played significant roles in the collapse of the Ottoman Empire. Internal weaknesses, such as political instability, economic decline, and cultural stagnation, weakened the empire from within. External pressures, including European imperialism, nationalism, and World War I, further accelerated its decline. Nationalism posed a significant challenge to the unity of the Ottoman Empire. As nationalist sentiments grew stronger among various ethnic and religious groups, demands for self-determination and independence increased. This led to rebellions and uprisings that further weakened the empire and contributed to its collapse. The collapse of the Ottoman Empire led to the establishment of modern-day Turkey. It also had far-reaching consequences for the region, including the redrawing of borders, the emergence of new nation-states, and the reshaping of power dynamics in the Middle East. What lessons can be learned from the collapse of the Ottoman Empire? The collapse of the Ottoman Empire serves as a reminder of the importance of adaptability, effective governance, and maintaining strong diplomatic relations. It highlights the consequences of internal weaknesses and the challenges posed by external pressures, emphasizing the need for continuous reform and strategic decision-making. The collapse of the Ottoman Empire was the result of a combination of internal weaknesses and external pressures. Political instability, economic decline, social and cultural stagnation, European imperialism, nationalism, and World War I all played significant roles in the empire's downfall. The collapse of the empire had far-reaching consequences, reshaping the geopolitical landscape of the region. In the 19th century, the rise of Romantic nationalist ideologies in Europe began to take hold within Ottoman territories. 
Greeks, Serbians, Albanians, Bulgarians, Arabs, etc. began asserting their own distinct ethnic identities. This challenged the very premise of the Ottoman system, which was built on loyalty to the imperial administration rather than ethnic identities. It fueled autonomy and independence movements. As these nationalist movements gathered steam, they directly led to uprisings, revolts and the eventual loss of prized territories like Greece and the Balkan lands. Military defeats compounded the problem by further weakening Ottoman authority and control. Ataturk's Turkish nationalist movement was the final nail, dissolving the imperial system entirely. So while economic troubles, political decay, and military setbacks all played supporting roles, historians widely argue it was the rise of competing ethnic nationalisms within its pluralistic empire that ultimately proved most destabilizing and rendered the Ottoman system unsustainable. It was the primary driver of its breakup and downfall.